What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to use this jumper battery bank pack made by Autovox. What's cool about this thing is that it has built-in compass, you can charge two phones at once, it has a built-in SOS light, so you press and hold this button right here, it'll turn on the light. It's a very bright LED light. Press it again, it does a strobe, press it again, that's SOS and then press it again to turn it off. It has a battery indicator. Um, every LED represents 20%, so it's at two, four, six, 80% battery life currently. You charge it right here through the charge port. Uh, you can charge it using um, AC adapter or your 12 volt adapter. You can charge two phones at once, um, but one port is a one amp, which charges at normal speed. And the uh, second uh, USB port is if you wanted to charge your phone fast. If you have like a Samsung S7, S9, or I, uh, iPhone 10, then you wanna plug it into the um, two amp USB port to charge your phone faster. So if you're using this on a boat or RV where you know things are moving around, uh, it does have these rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't slide around on, on the table. The battery capacity is uh, 14,000 milliamp hour and the starting current is 250 amp and a peak current is 500 amp. All right, so let's say for example, you're trying to start your car and your car um, doesn't start. Well, if your car, um, if you turn on the car accessory mode and the headlights are dim and when you honk the horn, the horn fades out uh, or the lights inside your car are very, very dim, most likely you have very low battery. If your headlights are bright, the um, car horn honks fine, and um, the lights inside your car are bright, then you may have a different problem. Maybe you might have a bad starter or something. Now, I have my voltmeter here. It doesn't check amperage, but um, that's what really starts your car. But it gives you a general idea what the battery is, what the voltage is. All right, so I'm gonna put my red lead, which is the positive, and I'm gonna put that on the red terminal, which is the plus symbol right here, and then a black lead on ground. And I'm reading 12.7 uh, volts. Uh, now anything above 12.6 uh, 12 point, 12 is actually normal for a fully charged car battery. Uh, when the car is turned on and it's running, uh, it'll, that voltage will jump up to 13.6, 13.7 volts, maybe even a little bit higher too. But if your battery is very low, it'll read below 12 volts and then you'll have a hard time trying to start your car. When the car is running and it's below uh, 13 volts, then that means the, uh, something's wrong. The alternator may not be charging your battery fully. Now, if you're reading the battery terminals, um, that could be a different voltage than th what your car is actually getting. Um, so make sure when you read the voltage, you read the voltage on the connector, not on directly on the battery. Because if you have a loose connection or corrosion on your battery terminals, that could uh, influence the battery amperage going to your car or voltage going to your car. So you just get a wire brush like this and clean the contact and then, or you could like, you know, maneuver it, twist it back and forth, and then tighten it up and see if the car starts. So I'm gonna move. open this up. You can't put it in backwards, by the way. It's, it's a one-way plug. So it only goes in this way. All right, plug it in. There's a reverse that lets you know that it's incorrect, that you get the connections in reverse and you need to correct um, your clamps. Um, there's a correct light letting you know that your connection is correct and then there's a boost button um, If your battery is very low, you're gonna have to press that button wait until the light turns solid green and then jump start your car within 30 seconds and There's a buzzer letting you know uh, what's going on if your battery is dead or if uh, your battery is okay proper way to use this is to plug it in like this Keep the positive battery terminal, of course, all the connections on the battery. And then you would put the red right here on the red terminal and then twist it left and right and make sure you have a good contact. And then the black would go to the strut. The bolt for your struts is a good ground source and it's safer. 
and you just want to twist it on there make sure it digs in and gets a good contact and just pretend that our car battery is fully dead so we remove the positive terminal connection and make sure it doesn't touch anything so we're going to put my positive right here twist it make sure it makes a good contact So there's no light and no buzzing. What does that mean? So according to this manual, all right, if it has the green light on, that's telling you the connection is good and the circuit is working, you can uh, turn on the engine to jump start directly. Now if you have a green light with a, uh, it's blinking with buzzing, saying that the vehicle battery is low, press the boost button wait until the light turns solid and then turn on the engine within 30 seconds i don't hear any buzzing and the light's not blinking red light on um, it's telling you that the connection is wrong no lights no buzzing saying that the vehicle battery may be damaged after confirm that the clamp connection is correct press the boost button wait until the light turns solid um, and then turn on the car within 30 seconds Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. At the 30 seconds to turn it on. Now, of course, you don't want to disconnect the positive terminal on your battery. I was just demonstrating that, um, that it can start your car from a completely shot dead battery and uh, use that battery bank pretty much all by itself to start your car. And that boost feature on the battery bank definitely helps. You would jump start it without using the boost first, and then if uh, if the indicator tells you to use the boost, then use the boost. So if you guys are interested in this jump starter battery bank, uh, go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. And that is the affiliate link that helps support the channel at no extra cost to you guys. And you'd like to share this video to someone that may help someone on the road one day, go ahead and click on the share button below and help someone out. And if you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want more how-to videos coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe link right here or down below. And if you want more how-to uh, tech videos about cars, click on the playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.